Seriously, you keep doing it. This is, this is the best people in the community. We have the best of the best, because people who come to the masjid, they are the best people. And people who have patience to, to sit down in the lectures, they are the best of the best. Even though we refuse to learn, we do not practice. When Khalid ibn al-Walid was in a debate with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned that there is a huge number of people who pray, but their prayers are not accepted. Why the Prophet say, Pray as you see me pray. Why? For what? He didn't say pray as you see your parents pray. He didn't say pray as you see your community, your Muslim community, or pray like the others. He never said this. You cannot have any movement in your prayer Except if you have the proof that this was the Prophet ﷺ action in his prayer. Otherwise, you can't do it. You can't copy somebody. You can't copy the others. You can't see something in the prayer, you like it, and then you do it. That you cannot. You have to pray exactly like the prayers of the Prophet. And sometimes when I ask myself, I told you that this rock, for the Imam, there is no necessity for it. Because the carpet is for everybody, and we're all equal, and there is no need in the Sunnah uh, to specify the Imam by certain rank. I said it, somebody asked me, by the way, why, why did you get it to the side and you pray on the carpet? I told him, but even though it's there every time, so, if there is another hadith that I don't know, that we have to have a special rag for the Imam, please inform me because I'm thirsty. I'm very thirsty. The problem is, we follow our culture strong, more powerful than our deen. This is our problem. I said to you that loud voice in the Salah for the Ma'mumin only for one word, which is the word Ameen. That's it. As a Ma'mum, it's not permissible for you to loud your voice in anything else. Sami Allah liman hamidah. Sometimes, Rabbana wa lakal hamdana. Not in this masjid, maybe in some place else. But I mean, we follow what we desire in our prayer, the prayer completely for the sake of Allah. We have to practice our prayers according to what Allah needs, what He wants, the Almighty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not according, because people sometimes, the say shaitan come by his whisperings, saying, if you change your way now, as if you're gonna lose thousands of prayers in the past. So keep as is, otherwise, as if you're saying, I don't need the prayers for that past. But the Almighty Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ when they used to pray to Bayt al Maqdis. And then the Almighty Allah answered the dua of the Prophet to twist the Qibla to Al Masjid al Haram. People, stupid people, every community has stupid people. Allah says this in the Quran. سيقول السفهاء من الناس ما ولاهم عن قبلتهم التي كانوا عليها
قل لله المشرق والمغرب السفهاء the stupid the, the stupid the, the low class of people the people who have no mind سيقول السفهاء من الناس ما ولاهم عن this this is the trick of the devil when somebody correct your prayers the automatic answer of the devil oh do you want to say that all of my fasting to Ramadan in the in the in the past 40 years what what were wrong we were wrong, we were wrong? no even if you're wrong you correct now correct it now Allah will never Allah will never erase your reward because when you see the truth you follow the truth <coughs> but the thing that is not understandable for me that when we see the truth and when we hear the truth we remain on the other thing the question is why why if there is any text in the Quran and in the Sunnah saying the other thing yeah maybe there is disagreement or misunderstanding or different understanding for the proof that's maybe no problem but if there is no text at all if there is no text at all it's just superstition to have a rug for the Imam especially rug for the Imam special different other than the other card do we have any text for this no it's just superstition we grow up like this me also I grow up like this that the Imam must have special rug for him in the mihrab it's a superstition when we recite Quran we have to say Azim. any text in the Quran or in the Sunnah that after reciting the Quran say Sadaqallahu Azim if there is above our head why we follow the superstitions the Prophet Sallallahu when he read the Quran he never said Sadaqallahu Azim and when somebody read the Quran to the Prophet وسلم, he never said Sadaqallahu Azim and the Prophet did not command Abdullah ibn Mas'ud when he asked him to recite when he finished and the Prophet want him to finish to stop he told him that's it hasbuk we in our country if the radio have the Quran and we need to turn the radio off every person say Sadaqallahu Azim if the cassette you want to turn it off you say Sadaqallahu Azim do you mean that you're better than the Prophet the Prophet when he want to the, the recitation to be stopped he never said Sadaqallahu Azim and he never put special right for him as Imam, the Prophet Muhammad. If they pray on the dust, all pray on the dust together, equal. If we pray on the carpet, we pray on the same carpet, together, equal. There is no certain thing for the Imam. If there is text in the Quran or in the Sunnah, please let me know. I want to know. We need to find out why we don't follow why we do not follow assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah assalamu alaykum by loud by the by the loud voice why maybe this is the trick of the shaitan because if i stop doing this as if i was wrong in the last 40 years yes you you are what's wrong correct yourself now.